punch, 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 punch. Hey guys, what is up? It is BrooksHoggy44, and today, this is going to be the part two of the Chocolate Quest for the Adventures mod. Today I'm going to be speaking showing off all the, like, fortresses and castles and everything like that. It's, it's really awesome. It's really awesome. So, first, we have the regular castle, and there's actually two of them because I goofed a little bit, but this is, like, what a normal castle would look like. It's just like this. And in the castle, there are, like, all kinds of crazy stuff. There will be, like, skeletons and stuff, as you saw last episode, that will spawn and try to murder your family. There will be a ton of chests with everything from boobs to melons to ender eyes to diamonds. So, I mean, yeah, there's just so much stuff in the chest. Like, if you find one of these, you're set. I, they're awesome and I want to show you a secret so you go through here it's they're really well designed I have to get the map like the mod creator and map creator and everything like mad props from this because this is like I mean I know I could probably not do it I mean it's crazy hard to even think about making one of these huge castle fortresses jeez okay those are some this is a, a GG chess OP much. Feather falling, I mean, projectile protection, boots, what? Diamond boots? Oh, come on, that's awesome. Sorry, I'm just, like, exploring, because I'm enjoying, like, exploring all these little places, because, I don't know, they're awesome. But I'll show you the little secret. So you come through here, sorry, ADD kicking in. Um, you come through here, boo. I don't know why I'm flying through here, but, so, yeah, the tower and everything, but if you go down, you go into like this little maze thing. And you start right here, and all these mob spawners are like hostile mobs that will try to murder your family. So you have to like battle all of them and try to destroy the spawners. And you come through here, and you have like a bunch of bookshelves for something that I'll show you in a minute. So you go through here, and you just have to battle all these like spike mobs and everything like that. And at the end, the reward is very nice. So you come down, and you come down here, and I did this before, but. So the all the things will be like that, right? You flick this one, that one, and that one, and it opens up that secret room. And I mean, just the map creator and like mod creator and everything. I mad props, mad props. This is an awesome mod. Um, so you go through here, some more chests, some nice armor, and the, the chests have really good stuff in them too, which is really nice. So you come through here some more iron and everything like that and there's normally a door here I kind of explored a little bit but so you come through here there's no hole there but I mean, you're good on eye of enders you won't ever if you really find one of these you'll never really need eye of enders so if you find an end portal frame there you go but these I mean feather falling four protectile protection three find feather falling chain and an enchantment table what more do you need um and my cats, I don't know if you can hear them meowing, but they're, like, being crazy right now, so I'll move those. Okay. Now, here is my one of my favorite parts of the whole mod, really. It's a castle. It's a snow castle. Now, you can't tell me this thing isn't amazing. Just, like, think, like, so, think about it. Like, someone had to build this before you could, like, spawn in and everything. Someone had to build all this, and there's just, I mean... There's just so much loot. More, I mean, more diamonds. I mean, more eye vendors and electric staff. I mean, what do you need on, like, I mean, if you find one of these, you don't need, like, anything else. And you can come down here and, like, I mean, all these, like, it's like a big jail, which is, I, I don't know, I think it's cool. And there's, like, chests everywhere and some of my food, armor, I mean. There's just chest everywhere, but you come through here, you come down here, and this awesome chandelier, which just so happens to have a chest up here with some diamonds and stuff, and a golden feather, so I mean, no fall damage and everything, that's really nice. You come through here, I mean, just so much, that bugs me, that one doesn't turn on, that's like the only one that doesn't turn on, and that bugs me a lot. But, you get the point, I mean, it's awesome, these places, and this everything it's just you should I, I would really consider getting this mod because it's an awesome mod so you come through here 
And so that's the cast, the snow castle. That's one of my favorite. I think all of them are randomly. Like, there's a few different ones for each. It's massive. I mean, <laughs> absolutely massive. I guess here's the entrance where you'd normally use, I suppose. I mean, just the thought and creativity and everything like that that goes into these. Wow, it blows my mind. Some more food. I mean, wow, well, these places are bad arse. I mean, so much food, melons, I mean, it, it, I don't know, they're just awesome. I love them. I could easily live in one of these things easily. I mean, you have like every resource you need. You never even have to go mining. <laughs> Alright, but that's the snow castle. It's really fun. I enjoy it. Now let's move on to the ice cave. Now these will spawn underwater, or under an ice biome, I believe, and they're just like this. And I normally this would be underground, there'd be a cave and everything. And there's spawners like that. They'll spawn the little trolls. Oh yeah, I believe they're called. See, it spawns like so many of them. But, and this is where the bulls spawn. So as you can see, there's only... So I'm punching that one. And, so these are like the glitch thing again. But, hopefully the mod creator will see this and go like, maybe figure out how to patch that. I don't want, oh, because I punched one of those guys. They're all mad at me. I guess that's their leader with the feather. I don't know. But, I mean, this is where the bulls spawn. There's, normally this would be all underground, so you, like, would have to explore and everything like that. But they're really awesome. There's one of the um, banner guys. I mean, see, like, there's a banner guy. He makes everyone else stronger. That guy has the hook. I mean, I don't know. It, they're, it's really awesome. But, there's an ice cave, so you'd find those underwater. Really helpful. Now let's move over to a jungle cave. I had a jungle cave here, but that took over. So here's a jungle cave. I believe these spawn underneath a jungle biome. I mean, oh god, there's a spider. Oh, creepy. I'm getting, like, cold chills from... Ow, it, it like, it shoots at you and pulls you in, in it, and there's something riding it. I, I don't know. It's like a jockey. I, I'm scared. Those things, I those give me the heebie-jeebies. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that's like, ugh. Oh, that's making me, like, ugh. I'll cringe up and everything. Uh, I guess that was the troll thing that was like riding it. But I don't know, there's like chests all throughout here too. And these will spawn underground and everything. I believe they spawn underground. They might spawn in a jungle biome. But I don't know. They're pretty cool. Not my favorite, but they're really enjoyable. I mean, they have some mushrooms, so you can collect some mushroom stuff. I think these little guys talk to each other. They have like they're sitting down. Oh, look at. Them. Look how cute! They're sitting down! Okay, um... So, yeah, there's that, some jack-o'-lanterns and stuff. So there's the jungle cave. Okay, now let's move on to the nether city. Now, on, as you can tell by his name, they spawn in the nether. It's a village in the nether. What? Oh god. Oh god, I accidentally clicked it again. Um, that's why, I, yeah, okay, it's probably gonna spawn another one and, like, lag out like crazy. But... I don't know, these things are so awesome. Like, just everything about this mod, like, it's so cool. Ha! Ah, spider, suck it. Whoa. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, this is the second one it created. Oh, wow. Well, look at, would you look at this? Would you look at it? There's, like, a whole little nether warp farm. And there's, like, an actual farm under, in there? What? Okay. So, there's, they made a f nether farm. Ooh, what's over here? Ooh, ooh, oh, whoa, what's there? Um, oh, just some furnaces and stuff, some furni. And is that a dropper hole or a dispenser with a butt ton of crap? And more chests, more. And there's coal in that. Ooh, a scroll of escape. What? Why is it? What? I guess it like teleports you out of a wall? Hold on one second, let me... Eh. Let me like get in this thing. Um, I guess I'll come in here. And it like... 
Whoa, that's awesome. How have I not seen one of these? Oh, I guess I've never seen one of these. Whoa, what's this? Oh, it's a lighting bug, I guess. Yeah. That's really cool. I've never seen one of those. But, so, I get that, and that's another part of the mod. So, that's awesome. Yeah, the lava's kind of like, it's, since it's only one layer deep, and they're, not, like, they're regularly spawning and everything, it won't fall, but, I, I don't know. They're so extravagant. That's the word I was looking for earlier. I'm just well thought out, and, I don't know. They're, they're really neat. I love this mod. This is, I'm really kind of falling in love with this mod. Um, so, yeah, I, the link will be down in the description, of course. So, now let's look at a ship. Now, I created, like, since they're all, like, random and everything like that, like, some of them are different than others and stuff like that, it created a little bitty tiny ship. A little bitty one. Like, and the pirates will spawn on here and everything like that, and there will be pirates. And since this is a tiny ship, there's only, like, one chest. Yeah. But there's, like, a ton of iron and stuff, so, I mean... I was going through and scavenging all these places. You'd have, like, so much stuff. I'll create, like, another ship to see if I can get, like, a bigger one or something. So that's... Generating ship. Oh, there we go. Oh, and I didn't get a bigger one. I, I swear there's, like, another size one. How am I not... I well, okay, I think this is one of the bigger size ones. No? No, why are they all... They're all tiny. Oh, well. I, I'm, I was, I swear there was another size ship. Maybe that's what it's taking so long. Okay. Yeah, this is, I'm, get, yeah, I, this isn't the same size ship, because just underneath there was gigantic. I'll, I'll break a little bit, I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, that's quite a massive ship. Like, that thing's gigantor so all the little bitty ships and they're like battleship mortal combat okay but yeah so there's the ships now this thing's pretty awesome I don't have one spawned in so it might lag a little bit hopefully not much generating volcano with well, a larger a lot of the larger structures it does lag quite a bit it's because it's trying to I don't know. It's trying to load all these stuff. I think the volcanoes spawn naturally in extreme hills biomes. I could be wrong, but I believe that's right. It takes quite a while to spawn, considering it's such a massive thing. We'll just give it a minute. Hold on. Slash time set zero. Oh, whoa. Um. What did it? But, but, oh, it's lagging. Oh, um, so lag, 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 lag. I'll go over here and punch this pig while it's lagging. I can't punch pig because it's lagging. Oh, oh, there it. Oh, I see a little bit of it. I see a little bit of it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so I'm underneath the volcano right now. Let me fly up here. Boom. Yeah, see, I, I told you, it's just a little big. It's nothing, you know, too huge, right? Yeah, right. Well, okay, yeah, that's, I figured that was just not generated. Um, so, oh, it's so huge, massive. But, yeah, these things are gigantic. But if you find one, I, look, that, that would, I, I'm guessing would normally all be underground or anything. Why is this room? This is just a whole huge room with a oh, a little iron dagger. Some wind essence. And enchanted armor. Good god, if you find this room, it's like GG. But just I'll sh I'll show you the, just the regular mountain. I mean, look at this thing. Look at all the ores. I mean there's diamond everywhere, iron everywhere, emeralds everywhere, coal everywhere blue stuff everywhere, lava everywhere, <laughs> considering it is a volcano, so you have to be very careful, and then you come into the heart of it, and there's so much more ores and everything like that, and there's these little guys, and I don't know, hold on, I can't click on them, um, so I don't know what, see, like, I can click on that, no, like, whatever, um, <coughs> uh, 
<laughs> One second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to cough. Ugh, ugh, guys, something's stuck in my throat. But there's these little miner guys. I'm guessing there's miners. There's a clock. But they, like, spawn everywhere. And they just sit down and talk and everything like that. But, I don't know, there's, like, a ton of chests and everything like that. And then there's, like, on every level, they spawn, like, crazy, too. But on every level, and then, like, you come down here. And come in here. And I'm guessing all the, like, volcanoes are regularly generated this way. Like, there's always, there's only, like, one volcano or something. And it comes down, like, I don't know, there's just, like, stuff, ever there's a magma, like, cube thing with a bunch of lave and everything. And, like, I don't know, there's just stuff everywhere. Like, stuff's always going on. And it popped out right there. See, I mean, it's so massive, it, like, conflicted with, like, everything. So, yeah. And now, this thing, I've never even taken a look at this, the underground dungeon. And there are a few more, like, a stronghold and everything like that, that I could not seem to get working. Sorry about that. I, it wasn't just quite working for me so you can do without it if you get the mod you know just find it for yourself I'm guessing it's gonna be awesome oh okay so I, th I'm, I think these are like better dungeons like they're regular be dungeons but better it looks like a stronghold kind of it's, it's, I'm lagging a lot hopefully that issues out All right, and the only reason I'm lagging is just because it takes so much to generate these structures and everything like that let's break out of here so yeah, it's just like a better dungeon. Um, I'm guessing there are more chests in here somewhere. Hold on, let me drink a, a night vision potion. Um, night vision, night vision, night vision. Where's night vision? There's night vision. I just, just there we go. Okay, so, yeah, now you can see it better. So, here's this. There's another chest. Um, a random gold ingot. Some more of that junk. I don't, uh, random bread and stuff. Hey, a cactus and a plant. Okay, I, I don't know. They're just like, I don't know. It's a really cool mod. There are a lot of really neat structures. I guess you'd find those underground everywhere and everything like that. There's so much more that I didn't even, like, find. Just like stuff everywhere. Um, so I think I've gone over pretty much everything in this mod. If I haven't, tell me. And yeah, sorry. There's oh, a bookshelf room. There's so much food in here. Like, if you ever need food, have fun. Um, but yeah, guys, that'll about do it. Let's throw some more potions. How about do it, guys for this mod? It is the cho again. It's a chocolate quest for the adventurers mod. Really awesome mod. I'd really encourage everyone to go check it out. I will see you guys later. It's been RookSaki44. Peace out, guys.